Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my favorite beauty products of 2019, ones that I will definitely be continue using into 2020. So if you're interested to see what they are, then just continue to watch. What I like about you, so dangerous, I get this rush. So hi guys, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Juliet and I do three videos a week. I do lots of fashion and beauty, lifestyle, those kind of videos. So if that's the kind of thing you're interested in, there is a little subscribe button down there in red somewhere. I would love for you to click that and stick around. It's completely free and entirely up to you. But without further ado, let's get into today's, into today's video. If you follow me for a while, you'll know that I love to try all new products. I also like to try and get a bargain, but I am all about sharing the products that I feel are good quality for the money. Whether it be something that's £400 or whether it be something that's a pound from Primark, I'm always honest because I would rather recommend something and you spend your hard-earned money on something that genuinely is good and genuinely works. Over 2019, there are a few things and products that I have found that I have loved, I have sworn by, and that I would highly recommend and what I am going to be using now into 2020. So let's start off at the top and we'll start with hair. And that starts with my Zala hair extensions. I am this year going to possibly trial out lower priced extensions for you guys because I know Zara extensions are expensive but I honestly believe you get what you pay for and when you buy cheaper extensions you end up throwing them away sooner like with Zala's, I get a whole year out of a Zala's, depending on how much I wear them. But I got like five uses out of my last set. And this year I also purchased this, which is the Halo, or last year, did I say last year? Which I have worn a few times when I haven't had my tapes in. It's still in, look at the shine on that. It's still in amazing condition. I have now invested in the seamless clippings, which I will definitely be trying. Within the next week or so, you will see a video go up about those extensions. But honestly, I cannot recommend them enough. I will leave all the details of the ones that I wear below for my tapings. And if you want to head over and see any of those videos on those extensions, I'll make sure I leave those linked below for you as well. Moving on to the sec, I'm going down in price here really. <laughs> so moving down onto eyelashes. This is a fairly recent find and I am going to be doing a follow up video on this because this is Lashify. They are pretty much eyelashes that go underneath your eyelashes, your natural eyelashes, and they are kind of a hybrid between individual lash extensions and strip lashes. If you've followed me from the beginning, you will know that I lived in strip lashes. I used to wear them day in, day out. They were part of my makeup routine, and I just loved strip lashes because I didn't like eyelash extensions. I always used to like to be able to take them off. This is pretty much one of the best products I have found. The initial control kit isn't that cheap. It works out around 100 pounds when converted into dollars, but you get everything that you need to start trialing Lashify. I have been trialing using different lashes that aren't Lashify, so I've got a video coming up on that to see how I got on um, and a review on it, but so far so good. And honestly, this is my second best beauty buy of 2019. The next product slash range blew me away last year. If you haven't seen the video that I did on my fungal acne, I will leave that below. I will also leave below, don't know whether I did a review solely on this product, but I know I did a skincare routine, so I will leave that below. But it was when I had fungal acne, which was all these raised little bumps on my forehead and had to change my skincare routine. Now, I will say it wasn't this particular brand that I don't think that cured that, but it definitely aided it. And since then, my skin has been the best I feel it has ever been because I've never really bothered so much with skin products until I found The Ordinary. It is affordable, they are helpful, and the products 
are amazing this one has gone now pretty much i think i've got the tiniest bit left in the bottom so these are the bottles that i bought when i did my fungal acne video which was probably around july august time last year so they have lasted me from then you can see the ones that i don't have to use all over my face every day look how much is left in that one and the squalen you know, you can see it's barely touched the niacinamide i use every day all over my face and this one the niacinamide 10 percent and zinc one percent this stuff has honestly made my skin incredible it's definitely reduced the pores across here and it does dry out your skin a little so you do need to use this with a moisturizer i don't want to go into all the products in too much depth i just want to share with you my favorites moving down to lips then i'm going down in budget as you can see the most amazing lip matte lipstick slash lip gloss matte can you get matte lip gloss what is it even from revolution anyway so these were a lipstick that i found when i did my revolution review and makeup which again i will leave link below these were i believe either five or six pounds each they go on like silk and they stay let me tell you this red lipstick i think i lasted about eight ten hours with it on and i didn't need to top it up but i did um, I used a just a Poundland lip liner underneath, Cherry Pop I think under the red one, but I don't know whether that made much difference, but this lipstick is the best lipstick I've found this year. I love my cheaper Primark lipsticks, I love those lipsticks for like everyday wear, but these honestly I have to say are one of the best for staying power and reasonably priced as well. And finally my bargain find of the year has to be primark's brow sketch i found a micro tipped eyebrow pencil from revolution that i absolutely loved but i think it was three or four pounds and then i think one of my subscribers said i'm sure primark do a like a fine tip eyebrow pencil and oh my gosh they do this is just two pounds and it is the same micro tip and then you also get a spoolie on the other end i get mine in shade brown i need a brow pencil i've had my eyebrows tattooed on before but they have just faded they never took well, i do tint my eyebrows as well but i still need a brow pencil every day because my eyebrows are very fair so yes this is honestly the best brow pencil i found in 2019 and until i find another one that is better this will be in my makeup bag for the foreseeable future okay guys so that was it those were my five those were my five ten no five those are my five favorite beauty products throughout 2019 they are honestly i couldn't recommend them enough i've used every single one of them i have continued to use every single one of them i understand that not everything is going to be for everybody but if you are looking for certain things and need recommendations i can hand on heart say that those products are amazing quality and do exactly what they say they are supposed to do so what were your favorite items from 2019 always love to find a hidden gem so let me know in the comments below and if you did like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up i would love for you to subscribe and stick around and until next time guys take care bye